I did mention that. Over the years, security organs, with the help of other civil society and non-governmental organizations, have joined efforts to combat violence against women, but still in vain. Today, different security heads and delegates met at Serena Hotel Kampala to discuss the role of security organs in ending violence against women and girls. While addressing the delegates, the Inspector General of Police, General Kale Kaihura, reiterated police's commitment to curbing the vice in Uganda. Mitigating the vulnerability of women and girls. And since we are involved in the law enforcement, as has been indicated, we are at the front line, the security agencies, uh, we must therefore improve our ability to detect threats before they happen. Other warning, other warning mechanisms, or even at the, at the tactical level, at the lowest level, be, being able to uh, identify those who are vulnerable within homes, within communities. Kaihura also notes that violence against women in Uganda manifests itself in different forms including physical violence, rape and sexual assault, child and forced marriages, female genital mutilation, human trafficking and the denial of resources and services. He adds that any act that results or is likely to result into physical, sexual or psychological or economic harm to women is a violation of human rights and a form of discrimination that needs a collective effort by different stakeholders. Establishment of crime data centers across Africa on gender-based violence and in particular trafficking with human, human beings. There is now the Human, human beings, especially girls, are being trapped. They quit more than this level. And as you know, sir, our girls, uh, what's happening to them in the Middle East? We need data. Uh, because some, some, I remember when we, we were first here, sir, these groups were still taking out these girls, would go to other countries to escape detection. That's why it's important to collaborate, to share, to share information. The Ugandan Constitution on Human Rights states that no one should be subjected to cruel or discrimination based on gender, sex, age and religious belonging. It also emphasizes that every person is equal before the law. According to a recent report by Uganda police, violence against women has significantly increased in the recent years. Meanwhile, the rate of gender-based violence against men has also significantly increased from 15% to 22% between 2001 and 2016. The Chigali International Conference Declaration is organized in the framework of the UN Secretary General's Global Campaign to End Violence Against Women and Girls, which was launched in 2008 and adopted by African heads of state in 2010 under the theme Africa Unite to End Violence Against Women. The 6th Kigali International Conference Declaration Annual General Meeting on the Role of Security Organs in Ending Violence Against Women and Girls took place today, enabling African countries to discuss ways to strengthen cooperation in dealing with this vice. Report filed by Denis Wonyala and Alozia Satwine for Urban Television.